Well, we made it, Wiley. There's some yeah. sheet metal on the ground there. Got all the metal, it looks like. Yeah, owner says it will start. Yeah. He robbed the fan off of it. Let's check the oil. Oh, shit. Oh, good Lord. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's making water, ain't it? I ain't never in my life. Wiley, I'm not sure about this one. Have you ever? No. She's a gusher. <laughs> I mean, it just keeps on going. <laughs> Man, I wish I pulled that yesterday. Oh, yeah. When I was down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's still going, Wiley. And it's, go you know, and it's going north, right? <laughs> which, is, which is not a good sign. Wow. Well, well. <laughs> I ain't never mind. We're going to run this real time. We're going to see how much this is it. We're going we're gonna to see how much water this thing's got in it. Have you ever in your life seen that? No. I have not. I might have. I've never seen it come out of the dipstick like that like that for so long. Yeah, but I've never been so disappointed in seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I know what. Well, basically what what just happened is while they might not be making no money. <laughs> Drink it. You give me five dollars if I drink it. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure water. That's just pure water. I mean, look at that. It's still going. I guess it's one of these new engines that didn't have to have oil to yeah. lift it. It just had water. Yeah, it's, it's, it's green. Very, they went green they on went this one. <laughs> very economical. Yeah. I mean, it's still going. So you learned a lesson today. Pull a dipstick, Pull a while dipstick you're, when you're around the, the, the guy owner. you're trying to buy it from. Yeah. So you should have took this with your phone. And, oh, actually, oh, I ain't got my phone on me. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that is. That's insane. Ran when parked. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, we're uh, looking at my viewfinder in my in my camera. We're at three minutes and twelve seconds, so that's probably been <laughs> that's probably been two minutes worth of water coming out of it for sure. Oh boy! Wow, it's still going. I'm going to say the water fuel separator didn't do its job. The water oil separator. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get the drain plug down there. That's what I'm looking for. And then, uh, but I ain't got no oil with me, Wiley. You know, the corner store might have some. If you want to put a couple quarts in it just to. Here it is. Here's the drain. I'm just going to have the hose running to the bottom. Let's 
see the drain pit right here for the oil. It's that brass fitting right there. And I'll probably be able to snake the hose. Uh, let me get a bucket, a tarp. Yeah, let me, uh... you know, Hank, it was, I seen you whip your jacket off, but I whipped mine off. I wish I'd left mine on, it's cold. Yeah, a little chilly. I still don't see no brass fitting. Wow, that's just insane. Oh, Black Betty, we got some, like, so for those of you who are not following, let me ask you guys a question. Some of our videos will get 150,000 views, some of them will get 30,000 views. So what happens to those, you know, 120,000 people that watch the, the, out of the 150 that watch the other, other video? Because we've got a series on this uh, Ford OBS. I think you guys would enjoy it, even though you're looking at logging equipment and stuff like that. We're doing some neat stuff on this old uh, 95 F350. I'm going to be putting a slave cylinder in it. That video, uh, and it's all disjointed, by the way. So you'll see this video, then you'll see another video. You might see my Ram truck into something, but anyway. So watch all our videos is what I'm asking you. You know, spend some time with us. We'd appreciate it. And how? Yeah. Um, let me take this off. Right, it's just got an old whip port right in the right. tarp spread out so we can. Somewhat lay down here without getting crazy. There's a tube hanging down here, but I don't know if it's a drain tube. Did you get hey, it? Wiley. Huh? I don't know what. Of course you don't. Huh. I mean, there's a belly pan down here. Yeah, but you, you shouldn't take the belly pan off. should be able to snake it through the... Like around the front axle or something? Let's see. What's this hose go to, Wiley? That's the, uh, coming out of the hydraulic. They rubbed something off of it. Come down here and get close to me, Wiley. <laughs> Just, Just to be, be close <laughs> to <laughs> See this here and here would take would drop this. But hey, they should not have to. But I reckon by golly they do. Yeah. It's something else. This thing's got the belly pans that everybody loses. Yeah. So that helps. I should I didn't bring no like big I hope I got a socket big enough for that. I got the air cat that will take it off. Let me, uh, that hose is. I mean, where are you going to snake Maybe it? Maybe you do have to take the belly pan off to change the oil. I didn't, I thought that's what the hose was for. Yeah. Well, let's just take, I mean, it's only two bolts. We'll take it off. Right. But, but let me tell you something. Tell look, me. Look at all that water dripping. Yeah. So whenever we take, that's going to gush out. Oh, Lord. What's that? You think you're gonna try to sneak it in there? I'm just gonna see where the hose goes. It just, it's like it's going up front. Well, it ain't coming out the bottom, that's a fact. That's a fact, Jack. We'll just get a, we'll get a crescent wrench and take those two off. Okay. See if we can't find it. All right, I'll go get it. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to get my not a step, not a step step out. This is that Doyle hitch, <laughs> hitch vice. We're going to use it for a step. That way, me and 
me and the old man can. I'm gonna start calling you the old man. Let's work this way loose here. There we go. Find a hole. Hey, hey. Huh? Hang on for you drag them tools out. Alright. There's the end of it there. The hose. Oh, okay. And uh You think you sneak around the is it long enough to go? It's supposed to have been. All right, hold on a sec, I'll get down here. Hang on just a minute before you get on it. What is this? Let's see. I, I would Maybe it don't hurt. Maybe. Maybe. Let wiggle it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is this it? I'm wiggling it. No. Which one you got? No, that goes to the train, miss. Okay. Well, I'm looking up in here for those that are wondering where I'm looking. Right here. All righty. So we're gonna have to take it. Let's just take these. Hey. Yeah. Let's take this off. Put the bucket here and just see what comes out of this. this oh, okay. High. All right. All right, sounds good. Screwdriver. Flat screwdriver? Flat headed screwdriver. Hey, wait a minute. No, this was a broke screwdriver. Got just a little bit of wind today. It's a little chilly. What that was. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I know what will. That thing right there has been pretty handy. It's like a six in one. I'll get the I'll get the uh, hose clamp. Oh, it's on your side. Let me climb up there. Yeah. Maybe I should while you doing that, I should probably take this lid off. That ho that's got a it's got a uh, plug on it. Yeah. You bring a crescent? No. Nah. All right. Now let me go get a crescent wrench. Why not just they won't turn with it? Uh -uh. All right. Better wait on Hank. You'll be mad because you missed all the excitement. Got the D-Walt Crescent wrench. This thing, this thing been a lifesaver over the years, ain't it? I seen another Crestology yesterday. You need a pair of pliers, huh? I mean. Maybe. Where's your pocket knife? <laughs> Get that sucker. About right there. No, no, that's a little further. Yep, yeah, right there. Let's just cut that. Right, hang on. Nothing. Ah, oh, got to turn it on down here. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to flow uphill like that. I'm sure the water level's here, and I'm it's probably a siphon over. Can you hold it? I ain't, it ain't got a. Nothing's easy when you get on these things anymore. It's probably gonna have to have that crescent wrench if I can get it on it. Uh, it's, hmm? If you can't reach it from that way, let me try it from this side. 
You know? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what, let me get this air filter out of the way. It ain't doing nothing but getting it out of the way. Stupid air filter. Got a, I need to go get a bungee cord or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Let it fall on it. <laughs> That's right. Put it up there nice and unsecure. Man. Hank, I was... I mean, I'm 62 years old, but I still got a son in school. Right, right. And he was over there this weekend just singing his ABC songs. Right. And he was singing it over and over again. And I noticed he kept on leaving the letter out. You know, he'll be 15 this year. He'll get his uh, permit. permit this year in September. Anyway, I just kept on encouraging him to keep on going over and over again. He kept on, and I did, he finally quit saying it, and I quit encouraging him. He, you know, he just, he never said why. <laughs> See me get that with your hand now. I broke it loose. Oh, yeah, sure you did. <laughs> right there. Can you get it? Here, I'll try it. You're gonna try to make me do it left handed now. I was just spinning on the. I mean, my flashlight. You just need to tighten it up just a scotch a bit. He was all over. I know it. Can you turn it or flip it around? Hey, there you go. Nah. Still not enough? Not enough for me to turn it. It's so greasy there. Come on. My arm. Putting all this weight. Putting this 250 pounds on his right arm is killing me. Seriously, I can't. Can't stay leaning up against that arm. Right here. You haven't opened it up any. Where's your little? Need a little old uh, Need pair a of pliers. Yeah. Let's try that. Done anything? I, I loosened it up for you. <laughs> Just loosen now? Oh, yeah. Nothing? Mm -mm. All right, let's get that tarp out from under there. Right. Nothing came out of that hose for sure. Is that an Allen head? And the end of that. <laughs> How many times I'm gonna put my flashlight in and out of my pocket? Is that the Allen head? That you turn to open that like a cockpit bell. Let's see. If you move your hand, I can see. All right, let me be right back on that. Oh, well now I can't see. If you already took that off, I could have seen it. Oh. <laughs> now all I see is that brass nut. That's on there for keep that from coming out. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be that little. Oh yeah, looks like it. Can you get that on that? Maybe. Let me try. I got that little old thing, that little old kit. Maybe. I don't know if it's getting that big or not. I might have some Adam wrenches. No Allen wrenches. Arg, 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 arg. Hey, Wiley. Yeah. Who's one person you never say hi to on an airplane? Jack. Who? You never say hi to Jack. Hi, Jack. <laughs> uh, if I have to explain it, it's not funny. <laughs> well, you didn't have to explain it. I just didn't hear you. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and have one stashed down in here. You know, I don't do a lot of things 
good, but one thing I do good, I can build, I can build some stuff. Let's see here. Oh, here's one. Probably ain't the right size. I don't think I have any in this in this tool bag. Sure don't. I got man, I got one, but I don't think it's the I don't think that's gonna be big enough. Uh, yeah, that don't gonna be close. I was thinking about the uh, uh like a box with that stuff. You had a box, the nut drivers and stuff. Yeah, is it possible? Right there. Thinking about that. Oh yeah, just to break it loose. Sure. This would be the. What are you talking about to put it in it? Yeah, we... I think they're quarter, aren't they? I need to. Let me just go see how close this is. Okay. And then I can. I'll just bring this in anyway. So I'll keep walking back. You got it. All right, now I need it back so I can figure out what to put on it. Yeah. Maybe uh. This it might just go straight into that. Yeah, but you ain't got room for the. Oh, I got you. You might put your uh your pliers on it and turn it. Okay, well let's let me see it. Then it can turn. Or is that too much? What are you? What are you trying to do? What's going to turn? It? I can uh, no. I'll grab the pliers with that, or I'll grab well, a. I mean, you might give you more, I guess. Yeah. Get where you want. Maybe. Actually, is that? Um, I'll just go find a wrench. You know what I mean? A wrench that'll fit it. Well, what about the crescent right there? Ah. Uh, Did you drop it? <laughs> and then magnet. Just need your light. I think I see it. I didn't know where my light is. Oh, it's still in my pocket. Need your light. I don't fit. It went down in there. I'll go get it. I'll go get a magnet. It might not be magnetic. Did you get it? Your mag light got it. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's an O light. The O light got it. <laughs> Here you go. I think I got it on there if you want to see if you can get it to it. I hold it in there if you can. Just didn't want it to come out of there again. All right, move your hand, I'll get it. All right. But it ain't turning. All right, go ahead and take it nut off. Nut's got to be on it, let's see. Oh, it does? You're going to do that to screw it in coming down and open it up. Go oh, yeah. ahead. Oh, no, That's crazy. I need a bigger one. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's just a tick bigger. So. Oh, I dropped it. Here you go. It's right under that bucket, I think. That thing bounced off. Of. This might work. Are you serious? Did you even try it? <laughs> Be nice to have a magnetic socket. 
Oh, that's too big. That's too big. That one was too small. It might, it, we might be able to just catch enough of it. I don't, I don't think so. Let's see what that is. That's the same size. How about getting your crescent ring? Oh, here's a six. Let me try the six. Okay. I was using a seven, and that was just a tick too big. What size the six side? Turned it inside. Yeah. Let me flip it over. I might have had to roll in it. How about uh, getting this right here? Yep. See if you can just turn the whole thing. Oh, the whole uh, plug, yeah. Okay. Like this? Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Don't have to have some more help, but you can get another bite on it. As far as I can go with this okay. big, let's get a smaller crescent wrench or a wrench. Yeah. I said, where's those uh, little channel lock things? In there. You know, I reached in the grab bag and this is what I got. <laughs> which was probably a great idea. <laughs> I just can't operate them. They're supposed to close quickly. Yeah, I can't get that. I don't know what size. You push down right there when you're not. You can't even reposition. I think might just see a screwdriver in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, that ain't gonna work either. Has he on a screwdriver? Can you try that screwdriver? <laughs> I know we're turning it, right? <laughs> Let me get it. Oh, this ain't fun on my back. It ain't got a jam nut on it, though. I was thinking the same thing. Let me, uh... It looks like it. You want a rag to clean that thing up with you? So we can see it? Uh, there you go. That's plenty. I mean, it's, it's a quarter inch off of it on this back side. Mm -hmm. but, but the jam nut should already come off. Where's your other crescent ring? size that is because that looks like your crescent wrench is too small oh yeah that's for sure I mean opening we probably should put a towel or a rag or something there to drop everything or catch everything we drop there it goes See what I'm doing. No, yeah, that's way B. Uh, Can we go get a wrench? Let me go find a wrench that fits. It's probably three, uh, probably 11, 16, 13, 16, something like that. Yeah. All right. Here's the light if you need it. Um, let's see. A 
it is at the three quarter. All right, it's loose. You got it? You got it. I was about, to bring, it, I was about to bring the Crestology. You, the Crestology. Did it drain? No. <laughs> oh, you ain't took it out. Yeah, well, we, let's take that other top off. That, I'm sorry? Let's take the other top off, the other bucket. Oh, okay. catch it, because it's going to come out of the hose. Okay, all right. Let's see, I'm going to give it a run. And you push the... Oh, okay, I'll get the bucket. Yeah. Catch it there. Oh, man. That's what it was, Hank. It was jammed in there. That jam nut was working. <laughs> All right. All right, let's send it. Hank, if it, can you look up oh, here? I got it. Feels like water. It is water. Yeah. Uh, cut the camera, I gotta go take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> it's all water. I mean, it's coming out like nine places. It's water though, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Look, at, look right here if you wanna take a shot of this oil pan. <laughs> wow. This is worse than that excavator in Fort Lauderdale. Remember? It's all water, nothing but pure water. The water has pushed all the oil out. Yeah. But where'd the oil go? Look at that. I mean, there's absolutely zero oil in it. None, zilch, nada. Yeah, this is worse than that uh, excavator we did in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. That's in, insane in the membrane. I mean to tell you what, I mean there's 10 gallons in there. You know what? Yeah. This ain't gonna go, really this ain't gonna really go, dude. You know what? I mean, how much water can one engine hold? Dude, this is amazing. See, look, I mean, my, my hand's dirty, Hank, but look how clear that water is. Yeah. No oil or anything. Oh, yeah. My, uh, had a conversation with a cat the other day, man. He was, he was talking and about the same age as I was. So I said, when's your birthday? He says, March 1st. So I got up, walked around the room, you know, counting cadence, and then I said, okay, what's your birthday? <laughs> March birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know, you used to be a drill sergeant, Wiley? You did know that, didn't you? Yeah. I got a nephew that's a drill sergeant. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. I don't know, Wiley. This ain't looking good for the home team. I mean, let's Unless he's going to knock two thousand dollars off of it to sell cylinders and blades, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to get stuck, but it's going to run down there. <laughs> get the black beauty stuck. I we'll take my Chevrolet and pull you out. Flash floods. <laughs> Water tape. The river rose today down in South Alabama. There it goes. Yep. Look at that sludge coming out. Wow. Don't worry people, we got the bucket and the we got the bucket down there. Gotta take care of Mother Nature. Make sure That's you, a good sign. Yeah. Dispose of all this stuff properly, it's important. Still coming out? Yeah.
Good thing I brought my waterproof Georgia boots, huh? Yeah. Proud partners of Hamiltonville Farm. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love them. Oh. If I lose some weight, I'm going to get me some tie ups so I don't run out oh, of yes, it. Oh, yes, yes, he brace up, I mean. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying. I did. I'm surprised you didn't correct me. <laughs> What's the problem we have here, fellas? Mm. That thing's been pushed into the... I'm saying that that pin right there is bad and letting the blade get mm -hmm. over into that and causing all kind of a situation. Jeez. But it's got a real nice belly pin. Where I messed up, I was here at lunchtime. Yeah. Looking at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was ready to go get something to eat. Curse you, stomach. <laughs> Dang you. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'm, well, you know, we, I mean, like, literally, it's not even worth trying. I'm going to put batteries in and see if it's locked up. Are you really? I am, and if it spins over, I'm going to go get some used oil and throw in it. You crazy. This pump is going to run. <laughs> I don't know, man. I if don't think so. If it's not locked up, it'll crank, Hank. I don't think so. You see where I went with that crank, Hank? Oh, yeah. If so, it was Bart, I would say said start Bart. <laughs> that, uh, uh, I got, um, uh, I just don't think so. I don't think it's going to go. Yeah. We're going to see if it's locked up. If it spins over, put oil in it, put fresh fuel to it, three times and she'll go. Okay. You just got your no hat on today, Hank. I do. I got the, yeah. my pessimistic hat on. it on? If I look in the mirror, it's on. <laughs> It says no, I thought it said on. Yeah, when I was in the rearview mirror when you was trying to catch it on that board. <laughs> Who's that guy with that on hat on? <laughs> I um, I want to get into something like we pulled that. I should have said, man, that's, that stank. And you could be like, well, you can't, you can't have the stank without the hank. You know what I mean? And we could put that on a t-shirt. Oh, boy. I'm sure that would have went over well. Like a fart in a dive helmet. Still, still a little drippage. While we're waiting on it, you want to just bring the batteries over here and just bump that star and see what it says? Yeah, it'll let you know right quick, won't it? Yeah, it'll let you know pretty quick. Where, where are they going, on this side? Oh, yeah, back. on that side, on the front. Here on the other side. I would get them, I'm on oil. You on oil watch? You on oil watch duty? Yeah. Yeah. My first taste of Texas. Oh. Had blonde hair and golden hair. That ain't nowhere near what that song said. Oh boy. Man. We found a love we could share. Alright. Can I set it right here? Yeah, let's pull this back. Where's the negative? Well, we can cobble a negative down. Oh, okay. But it's right here. Okay. Oh, what well, you want me to do? Well, we'll set one. Right here? Or closer to you? Yeah. Let's set. Where's the positive there? Right there towards you. All right. Okay. We can use that one. Uh oh, uh oh. It's too far. It's got to come back. See if you can get that on there. I can with a hammer. And then we could probably take that other one. Hey, uh, where's your cobblers? It's on the truck. Hold on. Well, let's get in. Let's just hook one, and I think one might bump it over. Yeah, okay. But we brought two, haven't we? Why don't we put the thing and just accidentally bump and it starts? <laughs> That'd be awesome. I need to bring uh, and put it on the fender. Do I need to bring a hammer? 
I don't think so. Just screw that down. Clamp it down to the frame. To the negative? Yeah. And one bring a hammer when we got yeah. that. That's on every E. You got a key in it? No, but it, you know, I bought a bunch of master keys, but I don't know if this got key in it or not. Let's see if I can get the door open. Ugh. Yep, sure does. All right, see if you got any power up there, boy. I didn't even look in here. We pulling, we hauling logs, dog. I heard the air condition. Yep. Yeah. Am I bump it? Hey, how many hours is on it? Is it show? No, sir. Bump it. Woo! Ooh. Did you see that? Mm. Mm. That thing shot out the end. Bump it. You bumping it? Yep. All right, hang on. It's in part two. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it. They said it won't part. I'm just saying that thing cranks up. I deserve to get run over. What year is this, Wiley? Uh, oh, I got one guy right there. Try that, Hank. Bump it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look uh, at that. Huh? Come on, it's trying to turn. It's not locked up, Hank. Come on, let's try to get a 360 on it. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna mark it. All right. Come on. Ready? Yeah. Right, hold, hold up. You believe that? That's crazy, ain't it? Put another battery on it? No, we gotta have oil in it first. We're just making sure it's not locked up, Hank. Oh, okay. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh. It's kind of like your older sister. <laughs> I found out she went locked up. I said, That's, <laughs> she's beautiful. <laughs> What about that uh, Nancy, negative Nancy attitude you have? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, shame on me. Yeah. We're going to go buy some oil? Well, no, not really. I mean, going to go grab some oil, used oil somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. All right.
That'd be a lot better, wouldn't it? Probably. You know, I did, a guy put it in the comments last night, I saw or one time, about just draining it, keeping this used oil for these used yeah. engines. Yeah. And, he, and he's right. On your channel or my channel? Mine. Yeah, don't forget, Wiley's got a channel, don't be Wiley. Go subscribe to and him. And this is why. <laughs> it's called Don't Be Wiley, so make sure you go over here and subscribe to him. You should have had Hang In With Hank. Yeah. Hang out with Hank. Be a loser. <laughs> like Wiley. Be a loser like Wiley. And the cameraman. <laughs> oh. no, you couldn't hang out with about 11 o'clock. That's right. The best. That's right. I'm always taking well, care of I, I like, I mean, I, I like our chances now. Okay. Have you got any used oil where you change your oil? No, sir. Good job. <laughs> All right. All right. You want to put two batteries and see if it will spin good? Sure. Make good video, wouldn't it? We make great videos. Because it liked it. You hit a whirr one time? Yeah, I heard it that one time. Let me go get the, oh, I got the other one right here. Yeah. Let's see if you put it, if you put it right here. I might slide that back some. Which is positive here. Uh, that's negative. Yeah. That's okay. We can make that work too. I think you gave me the heaviest battery. Yeah, that's the one I carried over the heavy one. I <laughs> think <laughs> so you get that. To yeah, probably. Work like that with the. Yeah, I don't say. Like into that. Yeah, but uh, uh, let me get a piece of cobbling material. Side of it. All right. Did you tighten that? Oh no! I thought you chucked them things away. <laughs> yeah. Where'd my crescent wrench go? It's on the other side. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. Did it tell how many hours was on it, Hank? Did the dash show up? No, it didn't show up. We just put these two batteries in there and we'll see if it'll spin over a little bit more. See what happens. See if we can't catch something on fire. Yeah. You wouldn't ever put this one out. You ready? Yeah. Ooh, oh, that did not sound good. No. Where did that come from? Huh? It sounded like... Hear that water? That's coming. It's pushing water off top of the piston. Where's that coming from? Hey, we got to find out. It's pushing water out. Where would that be? Do what? Water. I think it might just been circulating through the engine back down to the drain pan. Know what I mean? It was through the water jackets. It hit hard. I mean, it, it, it ain't hurting it up. Let me see. Oh, I got on the one that ain't got on. <laughs> Mine didn't either, so oh. suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Mine ain't got a handle. I got to go to the other side. That ain't got a handle either. That's what I said. Dang. That cameraman's always right there. We had to do climbing. <laughs> he can cut to this shot. All right. What's it doing? Nothing? Uh, the starter's starting to smoke. Hear that water? I do. It's definitely on top of the motor. 
It's pushing it somewhere. I bet it's, I bet it's, I mean, ain't nowhere else for it to go but the water jacket. Unless it's going into the intake manifold. Once, a, you know, like a, the intake valve opens or something. All right, just hang on. Your crank, your crank's not turning. What you thinking, old diesel whisper? It's got a weep, a weep. It's got something. Yeah. All right. Cause it's, it's got to come out on the exhaust side. Cause the compression That's right. exhaust. Well, not necessarily. No, yeah, cause when the yeah. cylinder's at the bottom, I mean, when the piston is at the bottom, it's right. the intake. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's got instead I said intake manifold. It's probably it's probably the exhaust. Manifold. The exhaust manifold. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Once again, you're right. What you want me to do? Besides stand here and look pretty. I mean, it didn't move. Yeah, you you're on your top. Top dead center. Right on, on the. Got the water and. Yeah. It can't get a valve open to let it push out or something. I see water coming out that turbo now. See the bottom of that turbo? Yeah. See it's got that water in it? It's uh... Uh... You got the cord, uh, the Dewalt and take a, like a 9 sixteenths and let's see if we can take this manifold loose. They'll all be easy to get to. Yeah, of course. Drain that water out of that. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Might need, hey, we might need some liquid wrench too. Maybe not. Like a extension. Now let me close this up so when that falls, all my sockets don't go to the ground. I learned that lesson before. There's gonna be one, you know. Look at that. Look at all that water. Yeah. So there's two I can't get. Do you think we could? Wow. That's what it's done. That's full of water and it's pushed it back up to the turbo. You can't have water in your turbo, Hank. <laughs> yeah, you're you not have water in your turbo? Not a good sign, is it? Mm -mm. Which one is? So that was dry. This is a little. This one's a little. And I don't know about this one because I can't get my socket in there. Which one? This the one, one by the thing? Right here. Wow. There's your problem right there. I know what's the matter with it. <laughs> There's your problem, lady, as my friend Wes would say. So, matter of fact, speaking of Wes, look at all that water. Hey, did you see him the other night? He was doing that uh, Mac, that R model mm -hmm. Mac. Yeah, I saw that. Was video. that not a clean truck? Oh yeah. Had a little issue, had some temperature issues in yeah. But uh, you know, last time Wes was with us, this is what we encountered. But it went spin. Yeah. So. Yeah, you know, spin it while the uh, the it's off, while it's loose. Yeah. Can we hit that one just a little bit more and see if you can? 
Oh, this one? Yeah. Use your man hand or... <laughs> that one nobody likes. <laughs> yeah, if you can just... Hank, if you could like run them up a little tad. Like two threads? Yeah, two or three, whatever. That way when we bump it loose, when it backs off, it won't just fall off. Uh, let me get you a hammer. Real mechanics. By the way, we ain't real mechanics. But real mechanics would have to do this with uh, um, two hands. I'm doing it with one hand holding the camera. How impressive is that, huh? 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 Yeah, that's not good. Ugh. You got a gush over here? There's one thing about it, if we get this one started... It'd be one of our major accomplishments with That's it. That's right. So This might go down into the... The annals of history. Does the have a Hall of Fame? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sure would appreciate if you guys watched more of our videos. How we'll ask you this, if you guys just hit that, that thumbs up, doesn't cost you a dime, just hit the thumbs up and that sends a signal to YouTube that you like this video. So hit the, hit the thumbs up. All right, you ready? Yeah. Is it pushing any water? Not really. Nothing? No, not really. It, it, <clears throat> but it's wanting to turn. Yeah, it's pushing some now. Is there any water light coming out? Yeah. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> what did it do? It blew, it, it blew a bunch out. Oh, did it? Yeah, it just released, and then it went, look at that now. Sinus, sinus issues. Wow. Give it ain't more. locked up, Wally. Oh, Wally. Far? Almost. Something smoking. Let's give it a chance to cool off a little. All right. You ain't got to ask me twice. <laughs> I smell it. Look at that. You oh, button it, it up. There you go. That's the one you hit with the vice grips. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for that battery. Our battery. <laughs> What happened was... And I only brought two. I got some. I did? Yeah. Well, of course you did. <laughs> well... I don't think it locked up. No, it's not. Did you see my little mark on the... Is that it? That's it, it has made a complete round. Just get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see how you timed that strategically. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I think the batter had to give up it started. Alright, let me get the uh let me get this crescent wrench over here and get that battery off there. All right. Well, what do you think? You think you can fix that battery? No, I mean, I can't. You know, I'm not, there might be somebody out there that can. Get, fish, get some fishing lead. And... Right, right, right. Yeah, I know there's a way to do it. I just, I mean, I, I don't know how to do that. I've never done that before, you know? So, why don't we just go get some, why don't we just go get some uh, oil? Oh, I, th I thought 
Oh, you better say lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you had me you, so excited. Listen, you ain't got to tell me I twice. Was pushing, I was, it's like my son. I was trying to push him, <laughs> but you never said it. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that was rough. Yeah, that stinks. That doggone air compressor, I mean the air gun or air wand or whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to think of what I used it on last. But I sure enough didn't put it back where I needed to. Of course, I know I'm the only person that's ever done that has not put your tools back. <laughs> I told, I've told that joke before. Like, man, I went to the doctor and he said, I've got high blood pressure and short-term memory loss. I said, whew, good thing I don't have short-term memory loss. So, all right, I screwed that up. Good thing I don't have high blood pressure. Ah, rough day, on, a rough morning already. Oh, good night. All right, here we go. Let's get in and start cracking these things open, shall we? Yeah, I might need like a paintbrush. See if I can find like a paintbrush or something while I'm at it. Hopefully it's just, you know, hopefully it ain't too bad. Last time I pulled injectors, it was uh, on a Komatsu uh, excavator. Well, that's the last time we did that. I pulled fuel injectors. And y'all, I made a homemade slide hammer and everybody was like, it's not it's not heavy enough. It needs to be at least, you know, two and a half pounds or whatever, but funny how that actually come off. Actually, it actually got the job done, so probably would have been easier if it was heavier, but I had to buy what the store had. One of these days, I'm going to get me a nice slide hammer. Those things come in handy. I pulled injectors out of, uh, if y'all haven't seen that John Deere 310 series, I pulled some injectors out of, I think that's a 40-45. This is a 60 I'm pretty sure. These will, these will come out. These will come out no problem. Trust me when I say that. The hard part is going to be once we get them out, we'll get the uh, get everything squared away. We'll hook up the battery, spin it over, and try to get all the water you know spit out of it, so to speak. Now inside here, I don't know if these. I don't know if these uh, particular ones have it. I think they all have them, but. They should have like crush washers at the bottom of them and stuff like that. And, but we'll have to see if they come out with the injector. I'm not even a mechanic, so I don't know. But that one right there is going to be the worst one to get to. I can already see that. There's always going to be one, right? So maybe, maybe he don't get pulled out. <laughs> maybe we do five of the six. We'll try it, and we can't. We won't spend a lot of time on it though, because we can get six. If we can get five of the six lubricated, then uh, we should be fine to get the motor cranked over. We really do need to try to get them all out, so we can get the. So there's no water. Look how this is. Look how much longer this is taking, because I forgot my my gun, my air nozzle. 
and it's not doing as good of a job as if I would have my there we go. Lesson learn. As long as you learn something. I tell you what's funny too is I actually got down here and I was like, oh no. I forgot to check to see if I actually had the Marvel Mystery on my truck. But luckily I did. That would have been a, a disaster. We'd have to drive all the way back. We're not too far from the house, maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It was a quick quick jump this morning. Which is why I volunteered to come down here. <laughs> I told Wiley to ask this close to the house. I'll run down there. Okay, we can at least see what we're doing now. This one right here. This one in the that's number. This one's gonna be the, the kicker. I don't think we're gonna need to pull the. Oh, maybe we will have to pull these lines off, or at least loosen them. spray some pb blaster on there liquid wrench you know pb blaster bought liquid wrench i don't know if you guys knew that or not it's gonna soak everything in it it smells a little different than than the old uh liquid wrench stuff all right, here we go. We got this tool roll here. I'm not sure if I'm sold on it yet or not. I'm looking for another one. The one that the, my the the uh, wrenches originally came in. The plastic tool on them. Let's see. Let's see when you, I don't know if I like this flip up design here. See. Nine oh, these things are loose as a goose. Maybe that's a good sign, huh? And yeah, maybe that's a, a good sign that we're going to have a easy time getting these things off here. Or maybe it's a tease. <laughs> Sucker. Nope, it's super easy. So far, the, the fuel lines are going to be easy. Just tedious. Uh oh, are both of them turning? Let's see. No, nope, just don't This is okay. We can do that. Well, I wish that air intake hose wasn't there. I wonder what the book time is on pulling injectors on a John Deere. Any any logging equipment mechanics out there watching this? What's the book time on? On that? But man, what you talking about book time? We just, we just do it ourselves in the shop and get it done when we get it done. <laughs> I only probably have to loosen them one side or take one side off and then leave it connected. Maybe. Come on. Let's go. Man, it's so humid this morning. Go to the 
exercise up. There we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see what these are. Those are probably five weeks. Oh, there's another long slot. Three quarter. Can it be? Is it going to be this easy all day? Let's hope so, huh? So now, let's see what size that. Way to go, John Deere. Literally every bolt associated with that is a different size. Way to think about the, actually do I need to, yeah, I need to do that. I'm going to spray this down just a little more. I sprayed some more penetrating oil on that. I'm going to let it set. For a few more minutes while I work on these other ones. I bet I could take that off first and then have more room. It ain't really a, a hard job. It's just awkward. You just gotta hold your mouth right a lot of times, you know what I mean? I probably didn't take all these off to get a little more room. Then maybe once I get all the fuel lines off of it, I have room to access the return lines. A little easier and pull the injectors back. six let's try to get these last two get all the easy ones first take us to the top
you would think that the the ones that are the easiest the reach would be the tightest ones because you wouldn't you know whoever put them on or whatever didn't have any issues connecting them end up having to take them all off I'm not sure yet we'll see We will see. Might be able to put a socket on those uh, injector, the actual injector itself. One more fuel line to take off, and then uh, two more injectors. I think somebody actually came out with a ratcheting line wrench. slot you know to put over the line and then the actual inside ratchets I saw that on like like a Facebook advertisement or something tractor uh, there's a lot of centrifugal force moving that way we got her we got her undid undid oh that would have been not fun at all how much water do you think this thing's gonna have in it when we crank it when we turn it over I bet a lot. Okay, so there's two. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try busting this thing loose and see if I can have any luck on it. Getting it back will be fun too, you know? I wonder if a stubby will work. Like I say, getting it, getting it back on might be, might prove to be challenging. Was it this one? Yeah. 11 16. I don't think. I don't think I have to take these off. I think they can come off with the injector. Maybe I 
I do have to take those up. Alright, let me go get a, was it a 9, 9 16 is that what that bolt was? No. Half inch. Yeah, alright, let me go get a half inch saw. Alright, I'm gonna get a 13, I'm gonna get a half inch. But I'm also going to get, I'm going to look for a smaller one. I'm going to get a 13 and a 14. Let's look for just a smaller socket. That fence, 12 point right here. Yeah. Let's try this and see. See what happened. Captain. So we can get these turned, so we can actually access the... I may have to take those lines off, because these, these have to turn so I can access it with the socket. And I need a very short extension. All right, be right back. Add an extension to this thing and See if that's going to help us any. <clears throat> Alright, let me get a breaker. Uh, let's see. This will probably work. There we go. We're going to try this first one, see how it goes. Now there should be, now that I've got the fuel line off, the return line, the fuel line, and the holder down, or the clamp, or whatever it's called, the bracket, now we should just be able to lift that injector out. Um, <laughs> I mean, we're going to use like a, a lady's heel or whatever they call it, but that injector should pop out of there. So we're about to find out. Let me go get let me go get something to pry it up with. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we just pry up on it somehow or another. I don't really like like I don't want to bungle up those threads on that, so that wouldn't be good. And I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm. I'll tell you what I'm concerned about is not only is it corroded up in there, 
but there's just no good leverage no good leverage wow and I just I mean where where do you grab onto it if I had the, the slide hammer where would I grab onto it let's see let's see if this if it would fit through the top down going through the top here It can't go through the top because the hood is in the way. I might have to take this on. I can't, um, I don't have the stuff to take this off with. Mm -hmm. Just make sure I don't get on those threads. If I get on those threads, those fuel, those return lines will never go back. Don't hate my homemade pliers now. My homemade slide hammer. Uh, might need to go get a hammer. Let me go get a. Let me go get a longer pry bar and a hammer. We get a one that will stick out there a little further. Heck, we might as well take all of them. So we can stick it up under here. Yeah, right there. That might work. That might work. Is that, is that working, y'all? I can't tell. I don't know if that's working or not. Let's see if I can put it somewhere else. But I just, I mean, I'm so scared of, I'm, so, I'm really scared of doing this, to be honest with you. I ain't budging. Okay. Let me spray it with some PB Blaster. And try it some more. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, let me get, let me get all these fuel lines off and stuff like, like we should. That way I can turn. I was hoping I didn't have to take all these off, but evidently I'm going to have to. Which stinks, but I mean, it is what it is. No big deal. Once I get all these, once I get all these off, these return lines off, I'll turn, um, I'll see if any of them actually come off easy. And if any of them come off easy, we'll take those out and then let these, the other ones sit. 
Why are you not coming out? Eleven sixteenths. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's, like I say, it's not very, it's not hard to take these off, so that's a, that's a good thing. What do you guys think about the new pitch clock in baseball? You, any baseball fans out there? I stopped watching sports about five years ago after everything went woke, but I, uh, I do keep up with the headlines. I know a lot of the true, true baseball fans just don't care for it. That one in the back might give me a little trouble, but that'd be all right. So I'm turning all these kind of perpendicular to the, I mean, do I take them off? I don't know. Now maybe I can get that one. There we go. This is definitely gonna make it easier to access the nut, the retaining bolt that holds the injector in place. What I'm doing is I'm simply setting them up here so that they get in the order that they came off. Now, like see I take I took this nut off here. I'll take this nut off and those nut those are what I call the retaining bolts. I don't know what they're technically named. And once I get all those off, then I'll try to pop the injector off. And if that don't work, then I've got a plan B. So far it's been relatively easy as far as you know access and all that goes, but now we just got to figure out how to get those injectors out. See, I mean, I mean, nothing's really been like super tight and awkward or whatever. I might be jinxing myself though. I right, did this one again. Putting it in the order. I'm not sure that matters, but. I'll put it in the order that it came off. Do the easy one first. I can't even believe, if you haven't seen the first video of this, you're really missing out. Go back and check it out. It's a skier full of water and man, I'm telling you what, it was uh it was crazy how much water we pulled out of this. And it's still I mean it's still I wouldn't say it turned over, but it wasn't it's not locked up if that makes sense. We couldn't get it to fire, but we're gonna get there. Wiley well, we bought this machine, so we need to make sure we get it running for him. And one more. No, two more. Just kidding. <laughs> All right.
I'll just strip that bolt off it. The head on that bolt. It was all winged up. No caddy lumpus on there. I tell you what's fun, you guys, field mechanics and all that stuff, you guys get to do that and you get to your job, you go. I've got to move cameras, got to bump cameras, you know, trying to get you guys the best shot. One more, which is going to be the most difficult one, but let's see if I can get my, get my socket down in there somehow or another. that camera right there. You guys ain't got to worry about that when y'all are working. May have to go get a longer ratchet. Hold on, yeah. Performance tools. So what's that? Tractor supply? I don't know. But it's got a 3 8 drive on it here and a half inch drive on it here. I don't use it often, but I, I do like it. Let's see if it's going to fit in here. Might be too big to fit in here. No, it's good. There we go. Leverage. I love it. All right, so all the bolts are out. Now let's see if we can get a, an injector out. Everything that's holding the injector is no longer holding the injector. So let's see if we can pop them out now. I'll start with the, the long, long body. Oh, I think that's coming. Not unless that just... Not unless it's just this, the top of it is coming. See the, the actual, I don't know if you can see that or not. This part is actually rising, but I don't know if the, I don't see the elbow. You know, the elbow is, is right here from the injector itself, and it's not, it's not moving. So I'm not, I don't think it's, Moving is what I'm telling you. Now maybe Maybe I could get a hmm, pair of vice grips, a slide hammer on that one. No, I'm not. I can try. Y'all, what y'all can't see is it goes, it goes at an angle, so you wouldn't get a true pull on it if that makes sense. All right, let me try another one. 
There might be one down here that ain't stuck. That just scares me to death doing it on it. I don't know, fellas. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have to do it like we did. We'll have to do it like we did the excavator. And just, we'll have to pour some Marvel Mystery Oil down it. And let it sit for a few days. Alright, so I've been working on this for a couple of hours. Uh, it's just, I can't get the injectors out. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to call Wiley, tell him what's going on. And maybe uh, me and him come back. I'll leave it sitting and penetrating oil. And then like I'll come back tomorrow and then the next day, like over the next three or four days, I'll spray some penetrating oil on it. Then me and Wiley can um, go from there. But let me call Wiley and tell him what the plan is. Not enough internet, was it? <laughs> How about you, driver? What are you doing? I ain't doing nothing about you. Yeah. Hey, I'm down here at the skidder and I've got the, um, I got all the fuel lines off, got the return lines off, got the retaining bolts down you know that hold the injectors in place and now now i'm stuck at um uh the, the injectors I, I can't get the injectors out so let me let me tell you my plan and see if it's something that works for you okay how about um i just i spray it in pb blaster liquid wrench and uh let it set for a day and then i'll come back tomorrow spray it again sunday spray it again and then next week me and you can come down here and and you use your man hands, and I can, uh... <laughs> well, hey, I might, I might be up to coming tomorrow. Yeah? Okay, let's set overnight? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's ready. I mean, it, they're, the injectors are ready to pull, so I just... They just absolutely won't wiggle. They won't do anything. Mm -mm. No, I've got, I've got three pry bars and hammers and everything else on it, so... Well, let's get close to lunchtime. I know what the problem is. <laughs> you a smart man, buddy. <laughs> I already know. Hey, uh, listen, I might not say I'm going to go eat Mexican, but, you know, there, there's yeah. one between me and the house. That's exactly right. But, yeah, if you want to, we'll talk back tonight. And if you want to do it tomorrow, either we could do it Monday morning if you want to let it sit a couple more days. All right. Well, I'll holler at you tonight, and we'll figure it out. But it's, it's the, I mean, I've... I've I've got it caked in there now, so it's it's got a good dose. And but when I hang up the phone, I'll shoot it one more time, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay. All right, buddy. I'll see you. Right. Jackers on the other side. Let's see what we can get into today. Let me give Wiley just kind of a quick recap of what I've what I done for him. Where'd you be? Oh. So all the, the fuel, the return lines and stuff are up here, but all the lines are off and the injectors were loose here. So all we got to do is pop those injectors out and we should be good to go. What do you think? Yeah. Let me show you what I was doing. Anyway, yes, yeah, so that's what I was doing. I was, I was so afraid to get them out of that, uh, around that elbow, you know. I didn't want to put that around the elbow and potentially bend that. Yeah, I see what you're talking about now. Well, depends. I don't have my depends today. <laughs> See, I think that thing just rocked back and forth. Let me shoot some. Let 
Let me hold that up and you see if you can get under that. See, there's a piece under there. There, yeah. Let me see my. Where's that other? I think it's coming in. Maybe not. Can you tell? I believe so. Next, we see some of the injector, I think. I wonder if we get I wonder if we can twist the injector now. Don't fall off his tire now. Really need something don't build like that. Yeah. Uh I got I got that I, I got that blue pry bar. Yeah. But I'm not sure it's too it might be too big, huh? Let me get that. We got pry bars, man. Yeah, I mentioned that me and Wiley went to lunch before we came out here. I didn't tell you I had toothache. I got the worst dentist ever. Went to the dentist and I said, I need a new tooth and make it match the other ones, you know. He put in a new tooth that had four cavities in it. Believe it. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, right on. That's pretty handy bar once you figure out how to. Yeah. It needs to get right up underneath that. Yep. Yeah, right there. That won't too. Dirt's gonna fall in it soon. These are what they call pencil injectors. I'm sure those injectors are no good. Why? Wow. <laughs> and I'm glad I, I got them loose for you. I don't think we uh I don't think we heard anything. I don't think you didn't either. Yep. Be awesome. No, that's him. Yeah. You know, I get all these tools after I watch Wes work over there at his channel. I see him use this kind of stuff, and I'm like, oh man, I could probably use that. And then I see all the technical stuff he's doing, I'll be like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Let me see if I can bend it. Let me see if I can bend it. I can't 
Can't get nothing on it. Yeah. Well, you want to do? Let's you know, try to get as many as we can and. That's a solid grab right there. <clears throat> Hit it with that hammer. Is it hammer time? Stop. Hammer time. Ready? Ow. Trusting. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's something under the one, that one layer right there. That comes up, so you really need to get under that. It's got like a bushing of some sort. <laughs> but either said than done, it you go left. There you go, left. You're on the left. Here's what you got. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now it's gonna work. If you can move it, if you can twist that thing around like that, you'll break it free, I believe. Let's see if we can make it come back. Let's see. There we go. It's loose now. Yeah. Let me uh Yeah. That's a good sign. I'm gonna try to hit your junk there, but <laughs> you'll know when you do. <laughs> Yeah. I'm waiting. That's gonna come down. Huh. That's gonna come out now. So you need to get under that little washer thing right there. It would pop out of there since it's can you, can, you, can you twist it with your hand? Uh-uh. I can't. It don't really surprise me though I mean, as much water we pulled out of that thing. Careful on those threads. Careful on those threads. That's a tough joke. Yeah, buddy. Hit that thing now. Ready? Yeah. Got 
got a lip. This thing right here is a lip. Can it go? Can it go that way any? It can just a minute, bro. There it goes. Get this thing off. Alright. Probably a 16 and an 18. I'll be bringing everything. I was say 18? Yeah. I guess it. I was afraid of that. I think I don't think it's an 18. I mean a 16. Yes, a what? Might be a 15. Yeah. Doing something, come back this way. Come on. Going with. Got to come back and talk to you if you can wiggle it out. If you want to grab that uh, ratchet, I mean the air, air. I guess they're 15, aren't they? <laughs> Ah. 
and a half a little. Yeah. I don't know how much of that y'all could actually see, but. Now we might be able to put those vice grips up there and yeah. with my homemade slide hammer. My half pound homemade slide, slide hammer. <laughs> Let's try it for a minute. The turbo is going to be in the way on this one. Huh? The turbo is going to be in the way on this one. Sorry. At least we ain't got that in the way. Side of the motor. Yep, 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 yep. Uh oh. Break it. Oh. It just caps on there. taking the turbo off? No, just loosen it up and go that way. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, it's this right here. Yes. Yeah. Throw some PB blaster on it. I'm not sure that socket's going to be. I don't have a deep enough socket. I'll have to go get a wrench. I'll go get a wrench. You know? Throw some PB blaster on it while I go oh. get a wrench. And then I'll... Uh... Okay. pb up. What size is it, you reckon? Half, nine sixteen? Uh, yeah, try half. Hey, let's try that. I ordered me a nope, seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths? Or three eighths one. Probably three eighths. Really? Nope, that's it right there. Ordered me a tool roll. There you go. There you go. Now to keep water out of it, also. Yeah. Let's bend this up. So I like this bar. I don't know where you got it from, but I don't either. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good bar. I got. I'm sure I got it from uh, with Harbor Freight. Look at that. Yeah. Ted, you get leverage on these things. 
kind of like when I get on a double cheeseburger. I'm telling you. You just you've got to give it up. Try that. That might be too much flavors. I can come off of it some if we need to. Let me see if I can raise it. Hey. It ain't gonna take much. Ah, that's wrong. Is that, more, is that good or bad, what I just did? Let's see. Ow. <laughs> you got tetanus shot? Ow, ow, ow. So there it was, but that's okay. There what was. You had it in there. I'm getting a little blood. I'm weak. <laughs> oh, I see your hand now. That gun, you did slice your finger open. Woo! You want a band aid? What blood type are you? Oh, positive. Same size as me. Everybody knows that Grandpa always has a, uh, a Band-Aid on. I'll do that while you do that. There you go. I ain't got no, like, Le Neospore or nothing. Might be it's a mite on the truck. And... Have a look for it now. I got a gusher. I got a gusher. <laughs> Doing first aid on my buddy out here. DNR. Unless you're real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that, man. Unless you're a female. <laughs> a real pretty female with lots well, of money. I'm not even going to be picky about that. <laughs> okay, Just female, female. Female with lots of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, once you get it, you got it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just getting right there to Yeah, buddy. That right there, if I could get that, we have it. If I could just get that locked in. We're gonna have to try to get it that way. All right. Hang on, hang on. All right. Ain't gonna do it, is it? Keep pulling it out. Well. Can you put something like behind that? Yep. Yeah. Let's try this. You might have to adjust it. Do, I'm gonna move this 
That's kind of like I am when I come out here to do a job. <laughs> we fault <laughs> sense security that I'm gonna help somebody's you. out here that knows what they're doing. <laughs> Well, I love it. So let me ask you this: Does these pencil war uh, pencil injectors have crush washers on the end of them, or, and if so, are they still in that cylinder? Uh, I don't know. I was gonna put a. We're gonna bring a shop back when we come. Maybe the water come out of that turbo. Yeah. We got four out. All right, you wanna work on this one a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> that was a word. It worked so far doing it, ain't it? Where's my other? do with that other one. Huh? What do I do with that little one? Where's the little one? I don't know. Hand me that hammer. Get it up a little bit. Okay, I think it's all good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Alright, you got me leave that there? Or, no, or is that not gonna make it worse? Good idea. You gonna do it again? There it went. <laughs> wow. That I believe that was one sitting in water, wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah, what was the other one that was sitting in water? This this one? Uh, I think these up uh, these front ones. Yeah. Well, one more. Uno mas for my Spanish speaking friends. Seems like it went up a little. Yeah. Y'all, if y'all haven't seen this video, if y'all haven't seen the first video, you need to go back and watch it. I'm telling you, it, you you'd just be amazed at all the water in this. And you think, well, why are you doing this? Because we got to get the we got to get the motor to at least turn over so that uh, you can sell it. We know it's not locked up because we actually did that. Yeah, it's not locked up, but it's. It was full of water. Let's see if I can get on that with this bigger one.
I don't know. You are so far Let's take away. this off. Let's take this off just a minute. Okay. We beat some, what we was beating on it, it was, that didn't even turn it in there, blower. No, uh, no. Yeah, no. this thing right here wasn't going to run. <laughs> it sure was yeah, it turned a little. Yeah, it turned like an eighth of a turn. Yeah. We're going to tear this whole engine apart. Huh? I said we're gonna tear this whole engine apart. Let's take the head off of it and take it back to the shop. Drive it in from the other side. Yeah. Watch your head, Wiley. You're right at that short metal, buddy. See if you can push it. Ready? Yeah. What happened there? Slipped off. I mean, it, it feels loose, you know, when I twist it, you know? Yeah. I mean, real loose, actually. It's, it's coming now. That'll come now. Huh? That'll come now. I mean, it's, I don't know how much looser you can get it. Well, you can get all the way loose till it comes out, I reckon. Just ain't got the... Uh, where? Take his muffler off? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Got to do something. <laughs> no, it's a little small. 14. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah, that's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. Just the right leverage. Oh, not the leverage on my finger. <laughs> but, you know, if you would have asked me to do it 10 minutes we, ago, we'd have got it out. See if you can turn. See if it 
I'll go for something. It's definitely been it. Or is it just... I don't think we've ruined them. I think they've already ruined them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you could ruin them. You're on the I'm injector. Right. I mean, you're up and down like the shaft of the injector. Oh, oh. Surely that's not been in the injector. You're on the shaft of the injector and see it. Huh? You're on the, the shaft of the injector. There you go. Maybe we are bending the injector. You're bending the injector itself. Yeah. That's loose. So, this, this injector is toast. You know? Huh? This injector is toast. Well, I mean, you ain't gonna... Huh? You ain't gotta worry about breaking it. Yeah, just stick it on our elbow. If you get on our elbow, that injector's already broke. There's no way they can, I mean, it's bent. Yeah. I think that came out a little more, didn't you? There it is. Wow. Well, yeah. Oh, you broke, I mean, it's like, no kidding, broke, broke. Let's see. Look at that cracker. That's a special. That's a special one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plus it was all I can't see the viewfinder here for you guys, but it's all corroded. Plus it now look at that crack in it. Is it a screw top post or just get one one to spin it without any injection, pretty easy. Should be no, not any compression. Round post would be the. Okay. Is what's on there. Gotcha. That's what I'm getting at. What's your uh, positive and negative? I should probably throw right behind you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You been welding on that one? Yeah, probably. I think this is one I'll let you borrow. Duck <laughs> <laughs> the ground there. Yes. Yes, it is. Wait, what? I wrench it. You know, no video is complete without Old Faithful here. Hey, how about doing that right there? Tenful. Just needs to tighten up just a tad more, not much. Oh, this is the one we welded. Is that what you said? Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> I got you now. Ain't the other one open? Ain't there two? Oh, there, there it is. Water coming, water coming out of that hose. 
Just don't let that other one hit. Oh, the frame? Yeah. <laughs> There's your patient wrench. Heck, it might be enough to, it might be on there enough to turn it. Oh, Sparky. Oh, Sparky. Well, that was the most exciting thing that's happened on the video. <laughs> really? Just tap that on there. Right there. Let's go. Tap it on that way you think. Right there. Richard, Rich, don't mind. All right. All right, here we go, Ready? Ready? Yeah, just hit it, bump it, and hit it. Lord, have mercy, spit on me. I'm hit, I'm hit. Okay, look at all that water. Oh. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cameraman's down. <laughs> the cameraman's, cameraman's down. down. <laughs> Save the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even have it recording up here. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even have it recording on the the good stuff. Where the action was. Where the action was. I forgot to hit. What a rookie mistake. Anyway, look at all that Cameraman water. Cameraman wouldn't know if he showers or not. <laughs> <laughs> but look at all this water. All over this and all over that. Uh, well, the good thing is it's not locked up. Of course, we knew that. Yeah. But there was no way there. So that water sat in there so long it ruined the injectors, and I guess the water got in there and just weakened the metal of that <laughs> injector. <laughs> That's what we're gonna say anyway. Yeah. It was amazing. It was some kind of scientific phenomenon. Mm, that's right. Yeah. That's a big word for you, Wiley. Yeah, hey, look how the water on the vice grips and. That's a Oh, could you imagine if we hadn't drained the water out of that? Oh, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I know you reminded yeah. them twice about yeah. watching the first video. Yeah. But go to it and you'll see what we're up against. Yeah. And the turbo, did you show them the turbo yeah. there? Yeah, show them inside the turbo. It was just, it just didn't stand a chance. And they said, oh, yeah, it'll run. <laughs> Ramming part. But that was my fault. I, I should have. Pulled that oil stick yeah. and checked oil no matter what else yeah. I did. Yeah. I, we were standing right there, but using such hurry to go I in. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> never, never try to buy equipment around lunch. Yeah. Time. You can't do it. This is what happens. All right. So what's uh, what's the plan, Stan? Well, we don't have any plastic in there, do we? You don't have any type of plastic. No, I ain't talking about start. Just something we can throw over that. Oh. Uh, well, we can leave a tarp over. I got two of them. Okay. Yeah. I think if we leave a tarp over it just to keep the water from getting in there. Yeah. Let's see what our buddy said about those injectors. Okay. And if they don't come get it by the time we get the injectors back down here. Yeah. This thing probably will start. Yeah. It might, mightn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe it wasn't locked up. Me either. Much water was there. Yeah. And we got some... Uh, like I said, I think you showed them the, the uh, we're going to recycle some oil, motor <laughs> yeah. oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know, if, I mean, I guess I'll just do all these. Take them, he's in there with it, huh? Well, I just call, yes, we just, you, know, you could just kind of, we'll take it with them. She's just kind of email him and show him a picture of them. And, all right, so. That might be one we look big. Yeah. That right extra lens. You that extra change. lens. Our cameraman had to take the extra yeah. lens off. But our, um, you know, we, we work some with our friends over at Area Diesel Service. They are literally the best uh, area diesel. They are the best diesel service that you can get, seriously. And we don't say that because we partnered with them. But, I mean, they... They act like they want to help. They yeah, do, I mean, they're they just good. Yeah, they actually are good, good people. Yeah. And uh, not only is the work good, but so I'm gonna send the, I'm gonna send them a picture. Send them that bent one. See if they can we'll do just, something with that. Which bent one? They're all bent. We'll see how good they are. <laughs> I wonder if he can bent and crack. Look at that. That's like a hot dog's hind leg. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> that crooked or nothing. That's more crooked than a politician. I say one, two, three, four, five. Where's that broke one at? I thought you had it. Mm. 
Is it up? Did I put it up there? No, sir. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> it shot over and hit him in the head. Oh, that wasn't even the broke one. Broke one's up here. Yeah, that's the broke one right there. Okay. All right. Well, is it going to turn? I spray some of that penetrating on. See if you can hit them on there. Can you clamp them on there? Yeah, no. I hold you, Cam. Tighten them down a little bit. Well, I don't know if it's gonna. I don't think so. And nothing to grab onto, you know? Yeah. It's, it's at an angle. Oh, yeah, that's turning. That penetrating oil did it already. <laughs> yeah, that's turning. <laughs> that thing's going crank, bro. And ladies, hey, listen, I. Ladies uh, and gentlemen. For real, you guys turn your notification bell on and follow this series because this is this is gonna be awesome. So if we get this thing running, it's gonna be way awesome. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Well, we appreciate you watching this and keep your notification bell on. We're gonna reach out to our friends at Area Diesel and see if they can fix these. They might not even they might not be able to can they straighten injectors? No. So they might just have to try, you know, see if see if they have some on the shelf back in the day we'll yeah. get the serial number off the motor and all that and and go from there but turn your notification bell on if you like this video give us a thumbs up doesn't cost you anything let me show you if you're watching your phone sideways flip it up normal up and down and underneath the video there's a little picture of a thumb that do, that's doing this click on that and that's a you'll like the video that sends a message to youtube saying hey they like the video we'll show them more of it so send it out to more people absolutely same thing I've ever seen. Real tight seal, but they're still rubbing. Nothing else is going to go wrong. Now, before they get on the motor, you can push this over. How's that side looking over there? I can't really see it. I can't get the left one like you got over there. I think we get these brakes off. I think we got a chance. You hear that? Then we got a chance. I bought me a new sleeping bag and a new tent for my next hiking adventure. Hello. Hey, are you on uh, 79? Yeah, I'm 1.8 miles away from this store. Uh, okay, when when you when you take your rides, you can get over in the parking lot. We're going to go check out this road. I didn't realize they got a, such a flood down here last night. But uh, we, we're about to go check it out, and we'll meet you back here. Anyway, you're, you're, are you heading south? I think I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 79. What... I'm on 79. I'm fixing to turn 1.2 miles all yeah. the way from wherever this score is. Yeah, yeah. You coming up, you'll be going to come back to a single lane where they had some road damage right there. You'll come back from that double, you'll come back from that four lane to a single lane, and right on top of that hill, you'll make a right. Okay. All right. So just sit there and wait? Yeah, just sit there and wait. All right, we'll see you here a little bit. All right. Let's go check it out. Is that them? Uh, maybe. I got some mud on the tires. There I am. talking about they have plowed right here you believe that yeah i ain't even trying it
with them brakes not what you saying that won't roll free you think that skitter will pull that through there i'm gonna get the brakes oh yeah okay i'm gonna get turned around yeah i'm just gonna try to back out I'm going to do like a 97.3 turn here. That's absolutely the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. That road was just like that right there. Yeah, it was good. How about the old Ram doing it in four low, huh? With street tires. One minute, 37 seconds later. This is a disaster. Right, you see this get stuck. You see Wiley over there. You know, we, we've got a game plan now where we've got a skitter that will pull out the skitter, but we got to back the brakes off the the broke skitter, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're at the parts house. What we're going to do is we're going to get the parts to release the brakes on the broke skitter. We'll actually use a, another skitter. It's got a cutter on it. Is that what I heard him say? Well, he's, he had a cutter too. He said he might bring both of them. He's logging a mile from there. Yeah, he's only logging a mile from there. So he'll bring it out of the wood, or he'll bring it to the, the broke skitter, and we'll carry the broke skitter to the truck, the tractor trailer, versus taking the tractor trailer to the broke skitter. And uh, I mean, the, the, the truck's just not going to get down there. As soon as we pulled down there, the driver was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Smart man. Yeah. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run in there, get the parts to uh, back their brakes off, and then we'll get uh, we'll get back down there and hopefully that skitter's waiting on us when we get back down there. It's thundering now. It's thundering now. Yeah, the rain's coming, so we better hurry up. This is a little compressor you're talking about, Karen? Yeah, the one, there you go. Yeah, I just gotta make sure it, it's got I guess it's going to unplug it. <laughs> Technique on. Uh, so we need to make sure we got this. So this ain't got no fittings on. So. I've got, actually I've got. A, we just got to make sure that we've got the right uh, air chuck. Why do they call that air chuck? Why do they call it that air charm? <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't have another air hose, you know, unless we take the one off the service truck. But I can't do that. Yeah, I'd say that's uh, you wrap it in t uh, tape. What's your thinking? To the Air Charles. Yeah. I'll tell you what, let's do this, plug this thing in. Just see how oh, just see, just yeah. see how it goes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so the plan is we're going to take that air compressor down there and my white Ram 2500 with the generator, put air in the tire of the skidder, and Back the brakes off, and then the other, the, the 648 that they're bringing will pull that skitter out there. Nothing else is going to go wrong. Or the ram will pull it out one. <laughs> Got a winch on it. Got a winch on it. Yeah, we're going to have to. You take that tarp off and use that tarp. I'll start on the tires, uh, Wiley. They're in that muddiest place. I'm going to hold a hundred loads of wood out of that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that um, pipe wrench at, Wiley? I put it in, my, in the back of my uh, full board of the truck. And back seat of the truck on the floorboard. I don't know if you can see it or not here. 
But right here is, is the parking brake I'm trying to. And I'm taking off this line there. Got a visual of that. Right here. The light's on it now. Anyway, that's what we're working against. It looks like we've got the right size, which would be another number eight. Yeah, I brought the service truck down here to start with, and it's just too heavy. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't happening. And uh, I knew. I, I knew. I thought. Well, there was something about the last time I did it, and now I remember. I said, if I ever do this again, I'm gonna get a 90 degree instead of this, because you have to bend it. But maybe, Dustin, if I hadn't applied that road, this would already been gone. Yeah. That field. I hate that. I didn't know nothing about my I, I didn't either. I would have. I, I, I told the operator, I told the owner the, the, that bought it, I said, we can get it any time. I mean, it's, a, it's sandy. And yeah. He hauled 100 loads of wood out of here, and the worst spot was right there. Just before you get here. Yeah. But it sounds like I hear you coming, maybe we, we drag it out the other way over there and take that truck on up the road and get it right on the highway. You got any secrets to getting these things off here? Need a BFH, don't you? I know, I sure do. Now, y'all can't use all that army tech around. What? A BS8. A BF8? <laughs> yeah, that's a, a big hammer. Oh. Uh. My golly. <laughs> I think I got it. The brakes? I think I got it started. I think it ain't the end of the world if we don't get air in it. Okay. It just would be a lot easier to pull. Well, I, I just worry about this big gas in the back of it. Well, that ain't gonna hurt it because it was holding air when they parked it. It just. Well, that ran when parked. <laughs> I don't know about that. But... Have you seen a video on this thing? No. That, that thing spit out 15 Hurt. gallons of water, man. Oh, no. Oh. I appreciate it. Well, we can grapple that blade and pick it up. No, you do it because you have that dragon. You, you got that there. We got a couple sharp turns, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to crash you. I 
think we did these bang sites. I think, I think we got a chance. You hear that? I think we got a chance. It went uh, a lot faster than I thought. Skitter recovery in the rain. come through that mud and two-wheel drive. I, I put my lights on instead of my two four-wheel drive in gear. So that's why we were spinning around a little bit. Hey, look at that. It's just a greasy mess. But hey, that actually went on a lot easier than I have fought them. Uh, the hose was right. It was smaller. I could get it. And after you held your tongue just right and had your eyes looking the right way it, it went right on I wish we could catch him so y'all could, could see him he's going to turn up here and go down the power line well he's getting her done it's nice when you have that nice equipment like that he's just going to pull it all the way out to the highway Great in the guy's room for him. <laughs> We're not going out the same way we came in. He's got a way that he can go that cuts through the power line, I think he said. So I guess we are. It's possible too that those brakes would leak off. Uh, just a little bit of the not real tight and sealed, but they're still rolling. There you go. <laughs> See you on the other side. sand like it you just gotta let the, the ruts take you you just gotta send it all right we're home free now we're on the hard top 
or not the black top, but the hard pan, I guess you'd say. He's gonna come out right at these power lines. I think they went this way, to the power line. This shoulder. Where, they, where Hank is? No, right here in the power line. Yeah, pull here and back in. Pull it back there and get out. I, I'm, I'm going to get it. I know we can. Yeah, that's the cameraman. Cameraman. How about you, wow. driver? Oh. You were such negative Nancy about I this know the it. whole time. I know it, I know it. I'm talking about put it right on it. Bobby would have that other one. 
here.
Now, before I get too much further, we can push this over. That would help. Of course, there he is. You heard me. <laughs> yeah, if you could, before I go up any further, push this over about another eight inches. We'll get close as we can. Just straight that way? Yeah, just straight. So much better than it was when we first got out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were. That wasn't a lot of deal. Oh, really? That's one of the best of the spots. This doesn't do that, but it all fell. That's one of the most coats we can pick it up any time. I didn't know they were going to play out of it. What we got? Yeah. What we get? Yeah.
better, right? Hey, he's driving it. Leave him alone. Let him go. <laughs> down there so long. Yeah. My, I broke the throttle cable on it. That's what caused the whole thing. The throttle cable. Wow. Yeah, Y'all got a pin or appreciate it, man. How's he going to tie that up? I, I'm going to let him stretch it out like he wants to. I can't get to that one like he got over there. Yeah. You don't want to cut storm wood, that's one thing. Bye. Uh -huh. 